Hi there. Welcome back. I'm back on my bonus field because this strip of land drilled only about two weeks ago. So when the rest of my stuff is completely under crop, I've got this to have a go at. And not only that, last time we were here, we found loads of things and there's still stuff here because I've only been here about 10 minutes and my first two signals were tokens. We found a lot of tokens last time. Don't look at that one, the cracking one. Across and tell it in each side, in each quarter. But one of them, I'm not sure it's a token or not. It might even be a gaming piece. It's got a crown and two hearts on it. Now, I do remember something about hearts being in the period of Charles II. I could well be wrong, but it's a really nice start. And on top of that, I found a couple of coins. I don't know which ones. I think that's quite an early Georgian by the look of it. Um, I have to have a proper look later. But anyway, there's a good signal here. It's pretty windy, I'm afraid, today. It's beautiful, but windy. Ah, oh, just a button. Just a big silver button. But it's one I missed last time I was here. I didn't do this very scientifically. I'm going to take a lot more care today. I'm making a pretty executive decision not to dig these any longer. But I'm really wasting my time on these. That could be a tiny cut quarter for all I care, but 99% of the time, at the moment, they're those bloody cartridge primers. And I, I, I'm prepared to lose the odd cut quarter so I don't have to dig up a tiny piece of lead or a cartridge primer. Let's have a look. Or oh, in this case, I can see it. It's a little lead 2-2 uh, two -two pellet. Or even smaller, what do they call 1-3-3? Three -three. I mean, it's tiny and there's loads of those things here. Now, you might miss out on something really good, but I'm, I'm willing to risk it. I'm only going to go for nice, high-pitched, solid sounds at the moment. Like this. You may get the same view from the camera each time at the moment. I've worked out if I have my back to the wind, then you're going to hear me much more easily. Filming tip from the top there to you budding metal detecting video <laughs> making enthusiasts. Still there. It's in here. Well, not sure what that is, but it's very decorative. Um, I suspect it's got to be a mount of sorts. I don't know how early. Um, possibly 16th century, 15th century, I don't know. It looks quite sort of cast and in quite good nick. Um, a nice thing, interesting thing. And I presume there would have been a hole there too. Yeah, I really like that. I've never found one before. Nice. Another good signal, isn't it? What was that? There it is. Well, I think that's one of those little tiny Elizabethan buttons. The little ball shaped ones, hollow ball with the shanks missing. But I think that's what that is. Gave a good sound, didn't it? 
gosh, as you can see behind me, it's the most beautiful day. It's so nice to be out. And I found another little artifact of sorts. No idea what this is. Maybe it hung or dangled from something. Is it a, a horse harness pendant or something? I don't know, but it's really nice. And it's nice to find artifacts and stuff. I sort of, I've been feeling recently with all the Roman coins and stuff I've been finding and tokens and other bits and pieces, I've been finding fewer of these. Well, I've only found two tokens, which is a real surprise, considering the amount we found last time. Big bit of green, it's a coin. Quite a lot of Georgian stuff here too, and that's pretty toasted. I suspect Georgian, William III perhaps, we're not going to get much off that. Well, I've, today I've split this strip into two halves, and I've done it quite scientifically, and I've almost finished the first half, and I'm losing concentration slightly. So as I'm unlikely to be back here for a while, I'm going to call it a day and come back fresh tomorrow and finish it off because I don't want to miss anything. That's really nice sounding. Still haven't found another token since right at the beginning of today. I can't have picked them all up in one go last time. Gosh, that's really bright, isn't it? It's either really good or really bad. Getting closer. Really bad. Gosh, a little tiny piece of copper. It looks to have a bit of gilding on it, but I don't know why. It looks really nondescript to me. Maybe it was a... A mount of sorts. Who knows? Maybe it is nicer than I thought it was. I don't know doesn't look like much to me, but it does have gold on it. Who knows, if anyone can help, it's a stud of sorts, I think. Well, that's me for this afternoon, but I have just found, there are buttons and there are buttons. I found boring buttons all day. And then I found this. It's a nice little livery one. I think it must be a stag. I thought it was a phoenix at first. Maybe it is an odd animal with horns or antlers. Anyhow, I'm really pleased with that. It's a nice button. Freshly cut grass. Lovely Welsh pasture. Well, we didn't find an awful lot when I went back there, which is really strange. It's funny, this game, isn't it? One day it's absolutely fantastic on almost virgin land and then the next day you won't find anything. Um, and talking about not finding anything, I don't find a massive amount around here, but I, enough to keep me interested. I used to ignore anything that wasn't deep until this spring they ploughed all this grass over. So I'm sure I'll find stuff much closer to the surface. And I've already been proved right. I found a really nice Victorian koi. Not so great on that side, but the reverse is very nice and crisp. It's been a bit bitten around the side, what is it, 1877. And it was literally on the surface. I would have ignored that before I knew that they actually turned these fields over a bit. Um, so it's not permanent pasture by any means. Anyway, I've got another nice signal here. And that's another really bright one, which I may have ignored in the past because I would have thought, do you know what, it's too close to the surface to be any good. God, it's so lovely to be out. It's nice and warm, but not as hot as it has been the last few days. It's very cokey, this ground too. I'm running the desk as I usually do in the hot program and reactivity loads are 2.5 frequency lowered to 11 just to, to give me some depth because of course there will be deep stuff here as well. 
and it's very, very cokey ground, but I'm used to hearing that now, so I know what, even with the light, I know how to avoid it. <laughs> After all that, it's a musket ball. Nothing particularly exciting, but God, it's pretty up here. If there is one thing you can slightly make a complaint about the dais, and a lot of people do, it is about the fact that apparently it loves iron, it loves coke. I don't really believe that. I think if you, once you get used to it, you can easily tell what's iron and what's coke. I mean, I very rarely dig up iron without wanting to, very rarely. The odd ring, the odd rusty ring maybe, but um, you do just get used to it, even in the light. This one could be fooly. I don't know if it's picking that up. There's definitely an iron buzz. That's there. And it's a squeak, faint squeak there. Now that could be Coke. Obvious Coke seems to have a real buzz about it, but that might be just deep Coke. We'll have a look. I'm not expecting to find an awful lot today. I just really, more than anything, wanted just to show off the weather and the, and the countryside. I don't really care if we don't find much. I mean, this is gonna take up four minutes of video, hopefully, no more. <laughs> now, let's have a feel. Well, now we should know. Well, it's not there. I think that was Coke. Definitely. Iron with a little bit of a squeak. Now, if I'd had the remote, I'd better check the hole just in case. Now, if I'd had the remote, I believe I would have known that more obviously, looking at the lines, etc., etc. But um, but if you're just using the light, you're going to have to get used to just trusting your ears. So that's not a target but it could have been once easily mistakable when it was like that. That's not a target. Right, let's keep going. Well, I haven't been out that long, but it's starting to get hot. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I've got a really punchy one to end on. But I found a couple more musket balls and a few buttons and it's been really lovely having a trudge around this, this piece of ground. Sorry that we don't have Tasky and his shenanigans. There's too many sheep around and he, I just can't bring him near livestock anymore. Not until maybe he's a bit older and he understands what's going on. But he'll just, he'll just chase them and I can't risk it. It's got to be a bit of can or something, or a massive bit of copper. Or lead. There's a lot of big lead in these fields. No, it's a coin giving that sound. I can see it. Just an old coin. Gosh. That really did ring loudly at about, I don't know, seven, eight inches. Can't see what's on it. They're all a bit, they're a bit, apart from that Victorian one I found earlier, they're all a bit toasty. I imagine it's a George. Yeah, it's Britannia facing that way. So it's one of the earlier Georges. Yeah, I can see it now. George III, half penny. Well, very nice one to end on. But I might take this opportunity just to say that I'm going to take a break for a couple of weeks now. Um, all my most of my land's really under crop, but it's only going to be a couple of weeks till that's harvested. And even though it's not the best time to detect, um, it's always quite fun going over the stubble. Um, and it gives the feeling that you might find something fairly close to the surface before it may get turned back in um, with the plough. 
all the direct drilling which they tend to do these days. So yeah, I'm gonna take a break for a couple of weeks and see you on the other side of harvest. Well, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.